Yeah. Do you really think that proved anything? Really, Becky? No, it didn't prove anything. A fluke. That's all that was, a fluke. Barely legal is the past, though, and the future is... Oh, Becky, the future is so sweet. You're gonna realize, just like Seth did, karma always catches up to you in the end. Good luck next week, though, Becky. You're gonna need a lot of it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to your ECW Hardcore Hotline bonus feature. I'm your narrator, Violence Phoenix Nitro, here to be your tour guide into the land of extreme. And what a bonus feature we have for the debut edition as John Moxley makes his in-ring ECW day. Bew. Of course, it was at ECW Barely Legal where John Moxley entered ECW by assaulting Stone Cold Steve Austin. We then heard from John Moxley on this latest episode of ECW Hardcore Hotline where he essentially threatened the life of Stone Cold Steve Austin and now John Moxley is set to go one-on-one -on -one here tonight with an opponent that we do not know yet. Who is John Moxley facing? Let's find out right now. Oh my goodness. A first time ever encounter is on our hands the mad dragon Ilya Dragunov has returned to ECW hardcore hotline and of course it was Dragunov who lost to Dominic Mysterio in the ECW World Television Championship qualifier matchup Dragunov now looks to get away from that loss with a huge win if he can defeat John Moxley in Moxley's debut. That is, if he can do that, that is no easy task, mind you. But Dragunov versus Moxley is one hell of an opening contest here for your bonus feature of the week. Ilya Dragunov, one hell of a competitor. John Moxley has accolades that run a mile high and longer. This is about to be violent. This is about to be intense. This is about to be Dragunov versus Moxley, and I can not wait anymore oh my goodness what a way to start off these bonus features then with a match the caliber of Ilya Dragunov versus John Moxley each and every single week you'll be getting additional content for ECW Hardcore Hotline you don't want to miss these bonus features Aubrey Edwards your official and here we go Dragunov coming out the gate with a bunch of chops even an overhand right there. Just going right after John Moxley. Going right after the arm now. What a win this would be for Ilya Dragunov to knock off John Moxley in his debut here in ECW. Especially with John Moxley coming off of that attack on Stone Cold Steve Austin back at barely legal. Dragunov has just been in full control and just as I say that Moxley going to counter out now with a big kick to the face. Flipping Dragunov into the corner. Has him locked up. He won't let him out. Big chop to the chest there. My goodness. Moxley now going to the outside of the ring. Remember no disqualifications. No count outs. And it's John Moxley with a kendo stick. Oh my god. Just cracking the mad dragon with it like he's the Sandman. Oh, STO though from the mad dragon connects. Big shot there. Has him with a waist lock, picks him up, drives him right back down, does Dragunov. And Dragunov now moves out the way before driving that bare knee into the skull of John Moxley. Follows it up with a kick to the ankle there. And then a senton right after. Dragunov is chaining together offense like no other right now. Moxley, though, back to his feet. Just going to lift you up and drop you down. But Dragunov back on his feet. Only for Moxley to lift him right back up. 
taking him over to guillotine him on the top rope. My goodness, going for the cover now. One, two, no. Dragunov able to kick out at two. You know if you're John Moxley, man, you need to get a win here tonight if you want to have any validation in your claims of violence, if you will, against Stone Cold Steve Austin. It was interesting to me because Moxley on Hardcore Hotline said he doesn't care about gold right now. Oh, my God. He just grabbed a table. Oh, my God. And he threw it like a damn dodgeball at Dragunov. That was insane. My goodness. It appears that falls do count anywhere here tonight in this one as Aubrey Edwards has gone to the outside of the ring. Dragunov, I believe, has been busted open there. Oh, nice STO from Dragunov on the outside. He has been busted open. Looks to be around the left eyebrow area. Kip up from Moxley. Oh, my God. Just to get the taste slapped out of his mouth. Oh! Moxley just got caught up. That was wicked. Oh, my God. That was wicked. I cannot believe that clothesline. Look at that. Moxley just threw Dragunov right into Aubrey Edwards. Exploder on the outside. Going for the cover. Yes, falls do count anywhere, it seems. One, only a count of one. My God. Moxley now lifting Dragunov up to his feet. Cutter! But Dragunov right back to his feet. Oh my God, tit for tap, back to back. He's got him in a sleeper as a matter of fact. My God, man. The fact of the matter is this. John Moxley breaks free of the sleeper hold just to throw Dragunov into the steel post. This has been an incredible debut matchup here for John Moxley. Dragunov, as soon as the music hit, you knew it was gonna be a wild fight, and yes, indeed it is. Dragging off with a kick to the gut there to John Moxley now. Gonna lift him up, but no, Moxley battling back. Turns him around, has him by the waist. Half and half suplex sends Dragunov across the way. And he lifts him up just to clobber him with a big time forearm there. Looking under the ring does John Moxley pulling out a second table. Pushing that table into the ring now. Moxley charging. No! Dragunov got him with a clothesline. But it's a knee from Moxley. My God. When John Moxley claimed that he did not care about either of the singles championships here in ECW that he can fight for, no, neither the world nor the television championship, you got to think, man, this is a sicko. John Moxley. He only wants to go after Stone Cold Steve Austin for the thrill of it, to put him down, if you will. Oh my God, speaking of putting down, just dropping down there to break free of that sleeper hold yet again. Counter there by Dragunov. Uh-oh. Dragunov now whipping Moxley into the guardrail. Pulls him out, drives him right back into the guardrail. Rolling him over, going for the cover. Here we go. One, Two, no, just a count of one as Moxley was able to get the shoulders up just to get hit with a senton right after. My goodness. Dragunov now bashing the skull off the apron. Take nothing away from the Mad Dragon in this conquest against John Moxley. He is bringing everything he has against this suck son of a bitch. Oh my God, what a kick to the head there. And Moxley now looking to stomp on the fingers of Ilya Dragunov and bashing his head off the table. Walking around, looking under the apron. What can Moxley be looking for? He's got a chair. Oh my God, he crashes it off of the skull of Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov still to this point has not used a weapon against John Moxley. John Moxley taking full liberties with that no DQ rule after a bunch of chair shots. Here we go, one, two, no. Dragunov able to kick out. 
Lifting up Dragunov now, does Moxley. Throws him right into the steel steps. This has been an incredible way to kick off our bonus features. Oh my goodness, man. Locking him up now, submission hold applied. Dragunov's gonna have to tap, there's no way. He's took too much damage. He's taken too much damage. No, he is lasting in this one. Oh, but for how long is Moxley calls for him to get to his feet? Kick to the gut, counter. Ilya Dragunov battling back with a forearm. Big time elbow there. Has him locked up. Drives him down, does Ilya. Dragunov is fighting for his life right now. Fighting for the right to defeat John Moxley in his debut here in ECW. Lifting him up, drives him down, legs hitting the guardrail. Dragunov has lifted Moxley to his feet, has him hooked. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, he hit the guardrail. One, two, no. John Moxley kicks out somehow, some way. He gets the shoulder up. Oh, wait, H-bomb on the outside. Moxley's been split open. Dragunov, though, not going for the cover. Where, wh where is Ilya Dragunov going? Ilya Dragunov running around the ring. Insult to injury. What the hell? One, two, Go! Oh, kicked out in two and a half. Ilya Dragunov wanted to go for a victory lap before the victory came back to haunt him. Oh my goodness. You got to think Dragunov would have had the three right there had he not gone for the victory lap. This has been an intense battle, man, of just two absolute behemoths. And I'm not even talking size. I'm just talking violence. Both men busted open. Moxley has him lifted up now. Whips them. We're finally getting back into the ring, so it seems. Moxley now pulling Dragunov up. Whips him off. Drop down. Get your eagle on. Big knee. No, Dragunov was able to stay on his feet. Oh, my God. One, two. Two, and he's pulling himself up somehow, some way. This has been insanity. Moxley to his feet though. Both men lock up, whips him off. Big knee to the face. Goes for the cover, that's it. One, two, three. Ilya Dragunov has picked up the Hugest win, I'd have to say, of his career. John Moxley's made it clear he doesn't care about championship aspirations here at ECW. But even then, you don't want to lose to somebody like the Mad Dragon. But what a win on the flip side for Ilya Dragunov. John Moxley's a little unstable mentally, though. How is that going to affect him going forward? On the next episode of ECW Hardcore Hotline, the Terry Funk Invitational continues as the Mad King, Eddie Kingston, takes on one of Terry Funk's protégés, Tommy Dreamer. We also will have non-title action as the ECW World Television Champion, Daniel Garcia, battles the longest reigning ECW World Television Champion of all time, Rob Van Damn. Also, we will see Bianca Belair going one-on-one -on -one with Cora Jade. 
following that, a first time ever non-title match will take place as DIYs Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano will battle Monster Express, aka Akira Tozawa and Apollo Crews. Following that, we will find out the number one contender to the ECW Women's World Championship as Becky Lynch goes one-on-one -on -one with the undefeated Sol Ruka. As always, if you are enjoying the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go